dear students in the previous session we are dealing with single proportion so in this session we are going to deal with two different proportions are given to you we are going to see the difference between two proportions and we are going to test the hypothesis so for the single proportion just a recap you remember the formula for the single proportion n is the sample size small p represent proportion for the sample and capital p represent proportion for the population so when the case of difference between two proportions so i am going to take p1 as the proportion sam proportion of sample 1 p2 as the proportion of sample 2 and corresponding n1 and n2 are the size of sample 1 and 2 so we are comparing two proportions so my formula is going to change like this like z is equal to p1 minus p2 since we have two different samples so it is going to be 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 sometimes in the problem p may be given sometimes it is not given if p is not given you have to use this formula so this is very easy since anyway p1 p2 n1 n2 will be given so my capital p i can find like n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2 as usual q you can find by 1 minus p okay let us go into the session so null hypothesis alternate hypothesis we know null hypothesis always says there is no significant difference between two proportions so your null hypothesis is always going to be p1 not equal to p2 your alternate hypothesis according to the problem may be not equal or p1 greater than p2 or p1 less than p2 it depends on the problem so let us go into the session students <coughs> as usual conclusion mod value z then less than alpha except h if mod z value is going to be greater than z alpha reject h not Uh, this is usual and common for everything and sometime people tell you to find the standard error so standard error is always going to be your denominator so just now as i said if p is given proceed directly p is not given use the formula and find p then proceed the problem okay let us see this problem first of all we can see 1000 persons in city a okay so n is going to be 1000 very good so this is large sample and 400 found to be consumers of wheat out of 1000 then they are giving another sample so immediately when two samples are given you have taken this as n1 and my p1 is out of 1000 400 are taking wheat <coughs> so my p1 is going to be 0.4 then what else is given n2 again 800 customers or 800 people from city they are also consuming wheat out of 800 again 400 people are consuming wheat so p1 and p2 are 0.5 and 0.4 okay guys so now we have n1 p1 n2 p2 okay let us see the question again does the data reveal the significant difference between two cities so they are asking this data reveals there is a significant difference between two cities as per the proportion of wheat can wheat consumers are concerned so it is obvious it's not always except what p1 and p2 there is no difference between two cities so whenever you see the word difference so this is going to be two tail test we are going to say whether they are equal or not equal that's it guys so problem over <coughs> so null hypothesis i'm going to take p1 <coughs> sorry p1 equal to p2 alternate hypothesis p1 is not equal to p2 so now capital p i have to find this my job n1 p1 
n2 p2 n1 plus n2 and alpha is not given so alpha is not given we have to always choose 5 percent so it is going to be two tail test you know very well from the table two tail test 5 percent is going to be 1.96 okay so as i said test statistics we have all the data so let us find the p then we can proceed with the problem so substitute the value of n1, p1, etc, etc. So you are going to get my p value as 0 0.44 and q value is 0 0.566. It is very obvious using the formula. So now substitute the values in the z formula. Nothing. Very important step is at the end of the problem you have to take modulus. So my modulus z value is 4.2 and z alpha value is 1.96. So calculated value is more than table value. Obviously h not rejected. I already said calculative value is lesser. You are in safer side. Accept h not. If it is more than your table value, then reject h not. That's it. So as I said at the end of the conclusion in exam, write wheat, wheat consumers, wheat consumers in both cities are not equal, they are not same. Hope you understand the question guys. Let us go into the another question similar like this. Let us see. Now, it is important to understand whether it is single proportion or difference in proportion, first point. Second one it is whether it is two tail test or one tail test. Third one, capital P is given or not given. Done. Okay, let us see what is given to us. A random sample of 400 men and 600 women. Okay, so N1 is 400 n2 600 two data are given to us mm. we are asked whether they have to like to fly over uh, fly over near their resident so out of 400 200 men have responded so 200 by 400 is going to be my p1 next 325 women were responded so out of 600 325 women have responded so, my P2 is going to be 325. So, N1, N2, P1, P2, everything is there. So, obviously, we have to find capital P that we can find through our formula. So, let us go and fix the hypothesis. <coughs> Test the hypothesis at the proportion of men and women in favor of the proposal or same against so, alpha is given at 5%. Okay, so let us go into the problem. So, you see, it's very clear. Test the hypothesis the proportion of men and women are favor of the proposal. So, either they can favor or they will do opposite against it. So, it is going to be P1 not equal to P2. And null hypothesis is going to be P1 equal to P2 as usual alpha 5%, z alpha 1.96 since it is two tail test. That's it guys. So after this nothing, find capital P, find capital Q, substitute it and important, take model as 1.241 and z alpha value 1.96. So we are in the safer zone. It is lesser value than 1.9 so accept h0 that's it guys so you can see a lot of similar problems hope you